All right, let's have a look at the, the new retargeting UI on a uh, production example. So I'm gonna set this dragon up from scratch. Uh, the video has been sped up slightly, but other than that, it's about uh, six minutes to set up and then another um, five or so minutes to play with the, uh, the settings. Um, so the stuff that's going on now, there's nothing, nothing fancy. I'm just assigning some markers to these wings. Uh, of particular note is perhaps that the, the fingers are attached to the elbow control in this case, because I noticed that if I attach it to the, the hand control, it gets a bit messy. And the default shapes for the spine are, are much too narrow. So the, the first thing to do is to uh, thicken those up a little, give them some, uh, some strength. Because the, uh, the, the larger the shapes are, the, the more power the, uh, the post stiffness is able to achieve. So something like that looks pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the same thing for the wings, uh, and try and keep the the roots larger than the tips, just so that they become the strongest part in this uh, in the equation. Something like that looks pretty decent. Uh, there's a consequence to this uh, because they get too much mass, uh, but I'm gonna show you that later in the video. For the legs, they are IK, so I'm going to uh, expose the joints that are hidden in this case. And they're hidden by setting the draw style from bone to none. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the hierarchy and um, set all of them to uh, their default draw style of bone. And now we can assign to these joints. So uh, regular assigning going on here. Uh, for the toes, I'm also skipping a few joints like the innermost toe, I'm not really interested in that. Um, something like that looks fine, and then the same for the other side. Uh, generally, the, the less markers you have, the, the less you have to worry about. So I'm just skipping the ones that I don't think will have a particular effect. So now we can see we have a IK working. Uh, and like normal, I'm gonna assign some boxes to these feet. So in, in case we do end up standing on the ground or so, it will uh, try and keep the feet upright. And that looks pretty decent. So at this point, I'm going to um, assign to the tail as well. And you'll notice that I'm skipping a number of joints and just assigning to the ones that are close enough to the controls, because those are the ones that I will eventually retarget to. And like for the spine and the uh, wings, I want the root of the tail to be the strongest. At this point, I'm also gonna adjust the body. The default positions and shapes aren't exactly where I'd like them to be. And that looks pretty good. So at this point, I'm gonna open up the, the new retargeting UI. And the first thing you'll notice that is that uh, a lot of them have errors, and those are the joints. But most of them are fine because we assign to the, uh, the controls for most of them. Uh, so I'm going to clear out all of these bad ones and just start from scratch. So for the tail, um, selecting the marker and assigning to whichever control is the closest. And then the same thing for the legs. Um, the legs in this case are IK, so that the root doesn't really need to go anywhere. The root is going to be attached to wherever the hip is. For the, um, the knee, I'm going to assign to the pole vector. And then the foot is going to be assigned to the less this IK foot controller thingy. And the toes, uh, the toes are regular FK controls, so they're, they're just being assigned to their closest control. And then I'm just repeating this process for the other side as well. So the pole vector will become um, essentially parent constrained to the simulation. So it will, it will sort of retain that distance from the knee uh, which is exactly what the, uh, well, it will replicate the physics simulation using these IK controls. All right, at this point, I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to apply some test animation on this now and make sure everything moves nicely. Uh, the wings are a bit floppy, so I'm going to strengthen uh, their relationship uh, by these distance constraints. Because uh, in the in the model, the, the wings are attached by this sort of thin membrane, which keeps them from uh, spreading too far. <laughs> and this is perhaps the, 
the part that takes the longest, just to play around with the settings, find something that looks nice. Uh, in this case, I noticed that the body is not too heavy. And uh, what I really should have done is that if you were to go to the um, solver setting and set the draw, uh, the, dis the display type to mass, it will visualize where things are heavy. In this case, the torso is very heavy and the tips are not very heavy at all. So I'm just uh, rearranging, sort of reshuffling that relationship. So now the body is less heavy, but still heavier than, than the wings. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to try the uh, record function and just make sure everything is uh, uh, is working well. So these are the, just the default settings, uh, nothing fancy going on. And uh, we can see just from the recording process that everything seems to hold up all right. And uh, yeah, if we just look at the shaded version, that looks all right. 